I don't really like driving through these neighborhoods or having to come down to a lot of these neighborhoods because, you know, oftentimes they're just so sketchy, man. Like, it's, you know, it's, it's just dangerous, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm over here. Every time you have to come down to certain neighborhoods in Cleveland, I mean, you literally have to arm yourself. You want to watch your light real quick? There we go. Apparently he was fighting with her and then she called the police to get the police to come out to arrest him and he left the house in a fit of rage before the police were able to get there, damaging the property on his way out. If it comes down to it, dude, if somebody starts approaching the car, yeah. we're at a stoplight long enough. Just ram long through through whoever. Certain areas are, are too hard to make money in a safe manner, right? Like, I'm driving down this street right now, and, you know, I don't really like driving down this street or being in this particular neighborhood. In my opinion, this is one of the worst, most blighted neighborhoods, not only in Cleveland, but in the USA. According to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of fifteen thousand dollars. I don't think I cost you fifteen thousand dollars. All right. So we are now cruising through uh, the hood. You get a lot of people, you know, in the Cleveland market that are kind of unfamiliar with town and the various, you know, neighborhoods and, and the level of risk and, and the crime amount, right? And, you know, that's why I created that uh, blog, the living blog, The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I wrote that, you know, as I talk right now, seven years ago, I wrote that in 2015. Did you not like being at a really long stop like that? <laughs> if it comes down to it, dude, if somebody starts approaching the car, yeah. we're at a stoplight long enough. Just ram through day. whoever. Did you see that guy and his fucking girl with their baby? Dude, those two are fucking total junkies. Yeah. Very nice. Busted window. Paint everywhere. Oh, that's lovely. These carpets were brand new. Uh, as a way to grade neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to entail your amount of crime, your blight, you know, just your destruction, right? So you get people from like Sacramento, California, New York, whatever, that are unfamiliar with Cleveland and don't understand why houses in certain neighborhoods are going to be half the price of houses in uh, other neighborhoods. Well, when you end up in neighborhoods that are just filled with uh, blight and crime, that's what you're going to get. I mean, to be honest... I don't really like driving through these neighborhoods or having to come down to a lot of these neighborhoods because, you know, oftentimes they're just so sketchy, man. Like, it's, you know, it's, it's just dangerous, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm over here. Every time you have to come down to certain neighborhoods in Cleveland, I mean, you literally have to arm yourself. I mean, it's ridiculous. And it's not about, uh, you know, arming yourself because you're a tough guy. Uh, or you're like a cowboy or, you know, a badass watching like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie or something like that. No, man. Uh, it's just completely, it's about safety. I mean, I got kids, dude. I got kids at home, so. I think she should have given us a chance. I mean, we'd been there for three years and we were always, we were always early. And like I said, I know the house, the house got bad in the last year and... And we never intended for that to happen, but we were working on fixing it. You know, whenever I'm out in a less than stellar neighborhood like this, whenever I'm out uh, in an area that is just so rife with crime, you know, I'm going to make sure I protect myself, right? I mean, knock on wood, hopefully I won't ever have to use it. Let's listen to the voicemail that the tenant who crashed his car into the house left. Hello, this is, uh, um, I live at... Yeah, I was working at double shift yesterday, so I stepped her at the hospital. My trooper called me, like, something happened at the house. Um, something with the water outside, I don't know the whole story. But it's, I guess something busted on the outside of the house. Um, I didn't know, so if you guys can send someone to the house and take a look at what the heck happened. Um, it, like I said, the address is...
like I said, I don't know the whole story. She's saying that something happened with the pipe, well, I guess, last night, because, like I said, I haven't been there in over a day. Um, like I said, I had to work a double, and I just stayed there at the hospital, and I just heard the things first things today in the morning. Um, like I said, so if you can, like, if someone, like, maintenance get over, like, first thing in the morning now, um, I don't know if it's bad or how bad it is. Um, it, like I said, five. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, call me back and see what's internally happened. Uh, my number is four. Thank you very much. Bye. I've never used it. I uh, had to use it before. Um, but, you know, if it comes down to it, I'd rather have it and not need it, have it and not use it, rather than not have it and end up dead, right? You know, my kids become fatherless because I was trying to, uh, you know, buy real estate. Uh, in the wrong neighborhood without, you know, being prepared. Like, that's the kind of stuff that people from out of town, they really don't understand. All this water that you see right here just dumping out onto the driveway, the damage to the side of this house. This guy, he wasn't even there. He doesn't know what happened. This just randomly occurred. It must be our fault as the property manager or the landlord. So we need to get out there and fix that situation. You guys, the owners, because yeah, people have been staying in the basement. Yeah, the guy came out the other day, stole this van. My dad lives right there. I left the key in I went for one minute, jumped in, took off. The cops found it in five minutes. But yeah, you got to do something, man. Yeah, that's, that's what, what we're, we're here, here trying to clear it out. Right, like the level of poverty and, and crime and, and drug addiction uh, that is prominent in neighborhoods like this, man. You want to watch your light real quick? There we go. I already know that this guy violated a restraining order. In this particular situation, we actually have the facts to prove that this tenant is lying. At about the same time the tenant called in to report the previous night's events, we also had a concerned neighbor send our team an email. Your property on currently has water gushing out of the side of the house. Water has been pouring out the house all day long. The tenants in your property on had another domestic dispute that resulted in the police being called last night. The man who lives there drove his car out of the driveway at full speed and drove against the side of the house, ripping the drain pipe and water spigot clear off the house. There are repeated incidents at this house with the man who lives there. The house now has some considerable damage to the side from last night's incident. Can you please do something about the water that is currently gushing out of your property? See, our good old innocent tenant who wasn't even at his house when this damage occurred actually was at the house beating up his girlfriend whom has an active restraining order against him. Apparently he was fighting with her and then she called the police to get the police to come out to arrest him and he left the house in a fit of rage before the police were able to get there, damaging the property on his way out. Yeah. Stop up in here too. What's up, kitty? Meow meow. You wanna see it? Hi, <laughs> big guy. If you can see him back there. He's all the way back there. That's a big cat. Eating some big Cleveland rats. Oh yeah. Yum, yum, yum. He just stacks his pants in the corner of his apartment, just filled with poop. Like, he's just telling us like it's, you know, like, it's normal. So we're like, all right, man, uh, that needs to stop. Don't use our washing machine to wash your pants out, because that's gross. You know, take them to the laundromat down the street. So a couple, couple days go by, I get a phone call, and someone uh, is like, someone pooped in the, uh, the <laughs> by the front door, and it goes down the stairs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.